Hello, my name's Grant Whitehead, and I'm going to show you how I bring Zoom into my TriCaster Mini. So here you can see this is a pretty basic setup that I've done here. All I've got is a, I've got well, I've got four machines that are that are bringing uh, that are doing that a Zoom call, and so we can see this is a Zoom call. There's f there's four computers that are connected and a fifth computer that's just viewing it. Uh, I'm using NDI virtual inputs uh, and playing out some videos that I got from Shutterstock, just little uh, test videos. They're pretty low res, but so is those uh, the outputs that come in, come in over Zoom. So I have a laptop that I have two outputs connected to it, an HDMI and a mini display port. And then I have the laptop screen itself. And I use all three of those um, while just the two come into the TriCaster. Let me explain how I do that. So if we have a look at this first screen, the zoom gallery view, all I do there is I uh, double click to make it full screen. And then the uh, a good little trick here is if you have the chat screen, when someone types something in, you get um, it. It sort of pops up. Um, it pops up, and you'll be able to see that in the screen scraping that we're doing um, in this process. So this is why it's handy to have the laptop screen. You can just drag that off off to the laptop, and we can't see that on either of our outputs that we have. And so now, when chat happens, it just goes straight there, and you don't see anything popping into these screens. So that's all we need to do on this screen. We now have four images that we can grab off of this screen. And then if we go to our other screen, this is a, a screen capture, um, uh, the screen share that's happening out of Zoom. Uh, and so the same thing, we can come here and just double click that and make a full screen. And that all, those uh, displays will go away and that's it. We've got a nice clean um, full screen share that's coming in off of Zoom. So now, if we were to look, we in in the TriCaster we could do uh, we could just clean that view up a little bit and crop it and maybe zoom it in a little. But I go uh, a step further, and what I do is I put a template that sits over the top. So you, now you see here the buffers that I've created. All these are is in Photoshop. I brought in a nice background and then I've cut out windows and then I've exported that as a PNG and it just has transparent windows that sit in there and so we can do multiple sort of setups. So let's step through what that would look like. If we go to ME1, let's have a look. First thing we need to do is change it to a two layer which is here in default. So we've now got that as a two layer. So we come in here and we can choose which of the video, the presenters, the panelists that we want to use. And we can just line that up in the window and it's very easy to do because the template is sitting over the top. And now we can just fix the edge a little bit. There we go. And then we can work on the next one. So let's have a look. Let's say it's... It can be any combination of these, obviously, and you can just lay them out however you want. I'm going to do that just a little bit more. something like that. And now when we look at the ME, uh, sorry, the downstream key turned on fully, we can see exactly how that looks. Looks really neat. Of course, you could put any logos and um, any text and lower thirds in there. Um, there's all sorts of work that you could do on that, but that looks really neat. So now we can see, I've done a couple of the other ones the mix effects. So if we look, we could go to a three shot. 
Now, see, those are not 16.9. Um, they're actually like a, uh, closer to a 4.3. Um, and that's an example of where you can make those windows whatever size, aspect ratio, however it works. Um, you could do whatever you like. So that's three. Let's have a look at mix effect two, which shows that we're using the two layers from the mix effect and the two downstream keys to get the three, so to get four layers in total. Now, we can go to a third if, if we use the downstream key of our main program bus. And now we can see that. And so, of course, if you want to, you can control click on the downstream key and then I can take and I can be turning on that downstream key and changing the background layer at the same time. And now we can look at our mix effect four where we bring in a screen share and so here we have PowerPoint that's just lined up in the same way in the same window and then we have a little talking head there the four three aspect ratio and now you remember you can use these presets as well and so um, with this one I've created another one that adds in an extra person that they may they may be having a discussion about the presentation or some questions or comments that are coming in about that uh, that actually makes that quite neat and then of course you could still transition back to the, the panel and go to the four shot and however so there you go that's how I'm using zoom and really it doesn't need to just be Zoom, but any video conference software that we bring in one input. Of course, all of this would be the same if you were using Skype and using NDI and having individual inputs. You just use more inputs. Instead of using the same one and cutting that up in multiple places, you're using the full input um, frame. Uh, but using that same idea of putting a template over the top gives you really easy control and making it look really neat. So I hope that that you've found that helpful um if you've got any questions or comments put that in the comment section i don't really care about uh the liking and subscribing this is a very niche um, video for people that are doing zoom and tricaster but i hope that you've found it helpful thanks bye